Oh my gosh, so Evo just announced the numbers for the participants for the tournament and it's actually very, very crazy. Let me show you this. For the Evo entrance, the registration leaderboard, we have Street Fighter 6 at 5,265 entrance, which is crazy. Then we have Tekken 8 at 4,646. Guilty Gear Strive, 2058. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is higher than Mortal Kombat 1, which is, yeah, I did not guess that. I did, couldn't foresee that, but yeah, it's it's higher. So like, I'm like, raw. Street Fighter First Strike is higher than Mortal Kombat 1. Under that, Inbirth is higher than Mortal Kombat 1. And, and Mortal Kombat has sold more than majority of these games on this list. It might be the highest seller. King of Fighters 15 being uh, at low end, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Obviously, they're working on new Garamaka Wars, so that's cool. Then they go on to show like the entrance uh, game crossover. So if someone plays Street Fighter 6 and they play Tekken, how many people have come from Tekken to Street Fighter 6? And it's saying 1,756. So I think that this number is pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, like the relevant re re relative crossover entrance, it shows similar as well. And it shows the percentage. So this data is very interesting because it goes to show a lot more. They also have most entered games by country. So I'm from the UK, so I'm going to naturally see what's going on in the UK. So UK, they're saying Street Fighter 6 is the most entered game. Tekken 8 is being second most entered game. And then Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising is the third most entered game. Now, this is quite interesting because I didn't think that it would be like that i didn't think grand blue fantasy versus would have been their third game i don't know i maybe strive or something like that but yeah maybe grand blue fantasy versus is a very popular game i need to even have a look at that game i don't know much about it right but yeah if you look at south korea they've got tekken 8 street Fighter 6 and then guilty gear strive grand blue our uh, gbvsr and king of fighters so it's a uh, very interesting and then united states and canada they're both pretty much the same so yeah this is very interesting interesting data now the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because if you look at these numbers first strike being 1100 entrance and a game that was out in 1999 when we're in 2024 this is over two decades is phenomenal to me like it's being under that in birth 2 which is a is a new game more combat one that got released last year King of Fighters 15 that got released a couple years ago. This is very good news. Grand Blue Fantasy versus Ryzen. Again, maybe you lot can let me know in the comment section down below because I did not know that this game was that popular. And Guilty Gear Strive? 2058? Listen, I might need to play that game again. But yeah, if we look at Harada's tweet, Harada is the guy behind Tekken 8, game director, chief producer of action fighting games. You know, I've worked on Tekken for the past 30 years. Crazy. He's given us some stats for Tekken. Now, this says 2000, uh, 2024, Tekken 8, 4,646. 2023, Tekken 7 was 1,580. 2022, you know, you lot can see the numbers. Um, 2016, 549. 2015, 458. So this is the most popular we've seen Tekken be in history. Like we've never seen Evo come with this amount of people playing Tekken 8. Um, we have an announcement at the end. So if you don't watch the video to the end, you don't will know what that announcement is. So now I want to see what Harada is talking about because Harada now he's definitely being very vocal on the social media. So he says, hmm, I wonder if there are any participant numbers left somewhere for Tekken Tag 4, 5 and 6. In the beginning, the number of participants in the US was very small. At the time, a Japanese tournament to, to Togeki was the biggest tournament in the world for fighting games and Tekken always had the largest number of participants and everyone was there. And EVO was originally a Street Fighter community event. When Tekken entered the event, Michael and I would lend out arcade cabinets and arcade boards and join venue staff to set up, connecting harnesses, etc. The venue was small at the time and it was rare for developers to show up so it was unusual for me to be the one the only one there although capcom community re relations staff did visit many events 
around 20, 2010 when the scale of all tournaments started to grow i started to meet a little bit more developers producers directors since esports was not a buzzword yet you and uh, most japanese game companies were still able to recoup their profits from the domestic market most of them were not looking at overseas markets and had not seen the global community so that would mean like the arcade area you know so usually you, you put a pound in everyone that keeps on putting a pound they will receive you know some type of monetary ra- revenue from that because you know loads of people wanted to play the new games uh because of this almost all board members in the company asked why harada michael make multiple trips abroad every year harada michael's behavior at the time was questioned quite a bit it was very tedious to explain these things and it was rare to find a boss who truly understood what i was trying to explain also at the time community events did not have the same announcements that they do now so even if a developer came to see what the event uh see the event the participants did not ask what are you going to announce in fact they asked hey did mr harada come to manage the arcade cabinets and boards by the way i'd like to rent them out for my local event who do i contact to me laugh out loud i was able i was playing with the participants during and after the tournament one of the players rented a large room and about 20 people would gather there to play against each other and i would casually drop by Nowadays, executives from various companies come to EVO and other large-scale events to observe. I thought esports was just a buzzword, but it's a great it's great that we can now travel support to many people without having to explain every single one of our activities or write long reports. On the other hand, community now expect me to make announcements, so there is another kind of pressure. I can't just casually visit community events like I used to. Well, from community expect, it, well, from the community expect is a good thing. In the nineties, of course, game announcements were usually made at large media events or events like Tokyo Game Show or E3. Markman had always told us, "You guys should make announcements at community events." And when we saw that many visual media outlets were announcing new titles at community panels like Comic Con. We thought, okay, we'll try that too. So we started to make announcements at community events more and more. But it was also difficult. It was also very difficult to convince the marketing members and management in Japan at the time. I think that game company officials should have more opportunities to meet the, with the fans in person. In the old days, you could go to arcades and see what the community was like. Even now, there are many people who think they know what's going on by just watching the video feeds, but there is a lot to be learned by actually seeing the excitement on the ground. So this year, the president of Namca, Namco Bandai Entertainment and the president of Namco Bandai Studios will be there. By showing how exciting, <clears throat> by showing how excited everyone is, we can create an environment that will make it easier for our development team to respond to the requests of various fans. So let's speak up and enjoy the tournament together. So this is very good and it shows transparency that there is things going on and we can make noise. Now, with this being said, I will be going to EVO Las Vegas. Now, if there's any content that you lot would like for me to do, like if you want me to go out and do some content with, you know, just the community and ask questions, do that type of content like I did before, please let me know in the comment section down below. If there's, you know, if you want me to hang out with any of the players, like, I don't know, Ni nee or Chanel or any of those players, or even just any tech of players, Street Fighter players, please let me know in the comment section down below. This time and this year, I'm going to try to get as much content as possible. So I really need your help on this one. This is going to be a community, like support i don't know what you could call it message board forum or whatever in the comment section so i really need you lots help to pull through and let me know what you lot would like to see stuff that's probably not been shown before let me know in the comment section down below and we'll be on to the next video let me know what you lot think about the evo numbers and yeah man i'm really looking forward to traveling to evo take ease everyone